Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with the beautiful Karina, my lovely Prometheia. And we are waiting for our K-1 visa to get adjudicated at the service center in beautiful California. And uh, I live in the Panhandle of Florida, near Pensacola, north of Navarre Beach. And Navarre Beach is where we're going to get married. And uh, Karina is from Caracas, Venezuela. Beautiful Venezuela, and she has been a legal resident of Bogota, Colombia, South America since July of 2018. And she has been gainfully employed as the manager of a couple of uh, ice cream stores since 2018. And we are waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, just like you guys are for your NOA2 letter. Come on along and we're going to give you some good news about visa processing for folks in March. Our NOA2 letter, I'm sure we are anticipating it very soon, just like you guys, but our NOA1 letter we received, uh, receded for April 18th, 2022, last year. And in the mail today, I just checked the mailbox, there were two letters from the IRS because a week ago I called the 800 number for my tax transcripts for 2020 and 2021 and in about three weeks I will call again one more time so I can get my tax transcripts for 2022. I'm going to bring three years, give them to Karina so she can present them to the immigration officer at the embassy in Bogota, Colombia along with USCIS form I-134, which I will diligently fill out without any errors. Now this video is about immigration, K-1 visas, and March 2022 recipients. Now whenever I'm gonna put out some really good news, I wear my, my uh, Diego sombrero, which Karina purchased for me <laughs> down the street from our apartment in Colombia and Bogota. Don't you? I like this. I like this sombrero. Now, USCIS has started reviewing K-1 visas receded in March of 2022. Our K-1 visa, NOA-1 letter, receded April 2022. So now we are a month, basically a month behind. Hopefully, before they start looking at our stuff, which is going to mean your stuff. Okay. Now, the new employees at USCIS uh, are really getting in gear. Uh, remember, USCIS is now in its second quarter because they work off of a different, uh, they don't work off a calendar year, they work off of a fiscal year. So the USCIS is in its second quarter and uh, the new employees are significantly helping the visa process. So the good news is USCIS has started touching and reviewing and, uh, and looking at K-1 visas that are receipt dated March 2022. And as soon as I get some approvals from folks for March, I will make a video for you guys and post that evidence for you. Everything I put up has got to be real or I don't post it, okay? My best estimate, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from studying the USCIS data is that April application, so if you have a receipt date in April, uh, they will start, USIS will start adjudicating those visas at the end of May, beginning of June, okay? So the first week of April, uh, 2023, an average of 245 K-1 visas were being processed daily. So it's an increase up to now, now 7,500 K-1 visas a month are being adjudicated approved, denied, RFE'd, etc. And we hope that you guys are in that batch. Okay, so stay strong, stay confident, stay relaxed, don't get stressed out. You've got this. We're going to help pull you over the finish line because we are in the same boat as you. And uh, get your stuff ready, get your stuff together so you can prepare your beneficiary for the scheme. <laughs> visa interview with the immigration officer at the embassy in his or her country where she lives or he lives.
Thanks for watching, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Go To Channel because it is your channel that we created for you. If you have a, uh, vi a video you would like me to put together for you, let me know in the comments. Tell me what you want me to do, and I will make a video for you. There's a gentleman who want, from Lebanon wants me to make a video about Lebanon. I'll make a video about Lebanon. And uh, then stay ready. I'm going to make a video also about the adjustment of status and lifting conditions on a green card and what happens when you get your NOA 2 letter. I'm going to make new videos to update the process. And uh, we will see you soon in the United States of America with your K1 visa in your hand, K2 visa for the kiddies on an airplane landing at an airport somewhere in our constitutional republic and to karina who is right now at work in bogota colombia i send you a big hug and a big kiss and you will soon be with me in florida take care everybody hey by the way uh when we get the noa2 letter we know oh, i might get an rfe who knows i might get an rfe diego you forgot this you forgot that you've got to do okay get an RFE, I'll respond to it, okay? And uh, when I get the NOA 2 letter, uh, then I will probably wait a month and then hop on a plane and fly to Colombia and uh, ride out the rest of the process with her, with Karina in Bogota. Okay guys, hang in there, we're here for you. I'll be back.